My name is Elizabeth Butcher and I'm a water quality and geospatial scientist at EOS Ecology. At EOS Ecology, we not only develop and implement science monitoring programmes, but we are also passionate about connecting communities with the science around them through participation. Data is a key foundation for informing change and the more people that understand scientific data, the greater impact it can have. Citizen science relates to scientific data collected by often non-expert volunteers. The data produced can be valuable to the wider knowledge base, as well as raising a greater awareness about science. I will share with you how we have utilised the applications available on ArcGIS Online to bring meaning to citizen science data through our streamed platform. I will demonstrate our approach to community engagement through putting the user experience first and share the difficulties we faced along the way. We developed Stream for two reasons. Firstly, in response to increasing public concern about the health of waterways, in particular water quality. Secondly, after working with community groups, we noticed that they spent time and effort collecting data, but their data was often undervalued and underutilized. This left groups not understanding what their data meant and questioning why they should continue monitoring. We wanted to change this, so we developed an interface to give a voice to citizen science data. Streamed is a publicly available online data platform developed by EOS Ecology and funded by EOS and Internet NZ, which allows community groups to upload, store, visualize and interpret their or others data. The focus of Streamed is on collecting water clarity data. We chose water clarity as it is a good indicator of water quality and general waterway health, and it is a defensible and easy measurement for community groups to collect. The Streamed website uses ArcGIS Hub, and the data is stored on the ArcGIS Online platform, allowing for real-time analysis of data, secure data storage, and access to geospatial applications. The brand look is specifically geared towards the general public who typically don't have GIS expertise. So using simple visuals, helpful how-to information and easy to understand language was key to capturing interest. Throughout the website, we've used Survey123 to ensure quality assurance of data, dashboards and maps to bring the data to life with specific colors and guides to enhance the user's understanding and experience builders to improve the user's enjoyment of interacting with the website. I will now show you some of the streamed website, focusing on how we've used GIS applications to bring meaning to community groups of water clarity data. So the submit data tab is where users can enter data from their data sheet to the online database. We've used logic to ensure quality assurance of data, such as automatic population of site location, select one answers and constraints to reduce errors in data entry, whilst making sure the survey remains simple to use. Given the user's technological background, we have found that a prescriptive survey is most effective. As you can see, select one options reduce the chance of spelling errors and logic filters the data to only show information relevant for their group. In this case, Cashmere Stream Care Group will only see information relating to their monitoring sites. The unique ID acts as a password. As the survey is public, this ensures only users who have been trained can submit data, giving us control over who can actually enter information. On the site name, we've been able to hide information which is used when interpreting the data. In doing this, we are capturing a wealth of information, but keeping the data entry simple to ensure users have an enjoyable experience. When entering the water clarity readings, constraints are used to ensure the difference between the reappear and disappear reading is not greater than five centimeters. We have also included additional information to inform the user if their water clarity reading is good or bad, shown here, providing immediate feedback. In using Survey123, we've been able to capture a large complex data set whilst keeping the data entry simple for the general public to feel comfortable using. Moving to the View Data tab, 
The data for each group is visualised using maps and dashboards. This allows data to be spatially displayed, providing additional geographic context and allows us to control the way data is understood. For easy data interpretation, we have provided information panels and use a specific colour system to ensure effective visual communication, whilst developing the public's capabilities in understanding the scientific data displayed. We created interactive maps for each project, showing the most recent water clarity data for each monitoring site, shown here. The use of web apps allows us to have control over what people can see and do with the data, ensuring the interaction is simple yet effective. The layout of the map is consistent throughout the website, allowing users to become more comfortable with using maps and increasing engagement. The colours seen for the water clarity categories, shown here, are used throughout the website to allow users to understand immediately what the data means. The About tab on the left hand side explains how to use the map, how to use the pop-up window, as well as what the information on the map shows. Given our target audience are most likely non-GIS users, this is vital to ensure we do not lose interest through complexity of maps. When clicking on a site marker, you can find out additional information about the site, as well as the latest water clarity reading associated with it. When zooming into the site, more information appears. This allows the public to visualise the geography surrounding a monitoring site, bringing wider context to the data, and also provides the audience with more in-depth information as they interact with the map, allowing users to delve further into the information as they desire. The navigation buttons shown along the top provide categories to display the water clarity data. Users can choose to view how water clarity is imp impacted by land-based effects or how water clarity varies over time. Providing these pre-programmed and easily accessible interactions with data encourages further engagement. So if we wanted to explore how water clarity varies over time, we would initially be met with a guide page ensuring individuals always start with an explanation about how to use and understand the dashboards, both visually and in writing. This guide page is found under each category and is vital for our target audience, in particular when using interactive dashboards. As you can see, a secondary row of buttons now appears, which allows individuals to further interrogate the data through dashboards. So say we wanted to view daily water clarity readings dashboard. On the left hand side, there is another text panel which provides further information about the colours used and key messages associated with this information displayed. This is to help the individual learn how to interpret the data and develop their capability. Like the maps, we've kept a similar layout for all dashboards and guide tabs to avoid confusion and keep the focus on the data visualisation and interpretation. This dashboard starts off by showing you all data associated with Kashmir Stream Care Group. However, by selecting a site, we can now look into site-specific data. This allows an individual to delve further into site-specific information. We can see the location, general site information, the latest average best and worst water clarity readings, a breakdown of the categories and every reading taken over time for this specific site. We can also change the time frame on the graph to look at a particular month or year. Having this interaction with the data provides a user-friendly interface to allow an in-depth analysis with a click of a button, providing interpretation of water clarity trends over time. So say we now wanted to compare monitoring sites go to the compare dashboard. As you can see, the general layout of the guide pages and helpful text panels on the left hand side are again present, as with every category and dashboard. The compare dashboard allows you to compare two sites using the selection boxes. Using drop down boxes reduces what users can choose and allows us to control what sites they can view. In this case, users can select any site associated with the Kashmir Stream Care Group. So let's select the most upstream site with the most downstream site. 
The dashboard automatically updates to show the data for these two sites, showing information on location, details about the land use and topography, average water clarity, the number of water clarity records, and the clarity category breakdown. The dashboard shows that the water clarity on average has decreased as we've moved from upstream to downstream, from very good to very poor. This dashboard provides an easy way for an individual to investigate how water clarity changes as you move downstream, again, at the click of a button. As you can see from this quick tour, we've utilized Survey123, mapping applications, dashboards, and experience builders to create an easily accessible, fun, and interactive way to analyze water clarity data at the click of a button. Although the ArcGIS Online platform provides access to various applications and allows real-time secure storage of data, we have faced many challenges along the way. We designed the stream platform to not require a login, which reduces the complexity for users and therefore encourages repeat visits. However, this requires increased data management on our part, as additional quality assurance processes are required to prevent non-stream members from entering data such as the unique ID that I showed you in the survey. This also prevents stream members from having access to the database. So if they do make errors during the data entry process, they have to contact us so we can make those edits. We've also found that the design of the visual outputs within the dashboards are limited and not to the standard we would like. The restrictions in various design elements, including outlines and the order of data displayed on graphs, actions and auto adjustment to screen size has changed how we have displayed data and reduced our overall effectiveness of visual communication. Lastly, our target audience are in general non-GIS users. So our biggest challenge is making the general public feel comfortable using GIS applications. Through embedding Survey123, web maps and dashboards into a website, the public are interacting with GIS without fully realizing. However, to ensure we do not lose interest through confusion of how to use the applications, we have had to spend additional time developing guides and how-to information to ensure users have support at all times when using the platform. So Streamed is an example of how we are making citizen science data available and meaningful to the citizen scientists and the wider public. Through using applications available on ArcGIS Online, and putting the user experience first, we are hoping to connect more people with their environment by bringing meaning to the data and give community groups a deeper understanding of the sediment issues in their waterway. If you have any thoughts about how we can enhance the stream platform or want to get involved more widely, please don't hesitate to get in contact with us. Thank you.